All right, everyone, so I'm gonna show you guys, I haven't done like a planner video in a long time, but here is my budget planner. And I just used one of my old ones and I just kind of did it like this. So in most budget planners, they used to come with this, like, I don't know if they still do, but this little savings goal, I thought this was really cute. I do plan on making a copy of it, but I do love the debt free, whoa, my papers. I do love the debt free ones. Um, I'll try to leave the link for the website down below. So this, you are able to like print them out and um, I really like them. Oh, here's the website. It's debtfreecharts.com. So this is just like one way of kind of having your own little tracker and you could also do it like that. And there, there's like a lot of them that are free on her website and then there's some that you do have to pay for. I think I paid for this one. This one I think I got for free. So emergency fund of how much I wanted to do, what each square is. And I really do love them just because again, I paid off our van that we had and I used the tracker for it and I did the same thing with the home and stuff. But yeah, this is an awesome idea as well. But here I have is my budget planner, like I said. And I used to use like these plain ones that used to you would use the stickers for and this is just kind of how I would have it set up. I'm showing you guys here is how to kind of use your old planner stuff that you probably haven't used or like this one I haven't really wrote on it and this was like my february one for my regular happy planner here sorry my table's all a mess right now but um yeah i'm using my old february and i'm gonna make this one as my august because i already did the same thing with this one it was a january and i was writing out the numbers to find out january of 2020 and july of 2020 had the same amount of days <laughs> i was just like it, it's early morning but it has the same amount of days and the numbers start and end on the same days of the week so I whited out all these numbers just for nothing. But um, all I really had to white out should have been just the January and the January on here. And then I added my stickers for July, which in your budget planner box, they usually come like this. So it just comes like that. And then you put these there and then these ones go right here. And yeah, that's just like what it is. And it says like paid and stuff like that. But not just that, I'm also using this one. And it is the happy memory keeping one. I don't know if they still have it or if it's been discontinued. I know it's been a while. And with all that's happening, I'm not quite sure. But I did get this a while ago and I loved these just because, I, again, I used them in my budget planner. So this is what I am doing here. And I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and do my February. And I'm just going to white out this. And yeah, I think... It'll be kind of the same days, except I'm gonna have to like slice some of the days and add a few more. But I think there's like 30 days in January, that, or in August. And then I'm gonna white out February. And it's not gonna look completely nice, just because like I said, when I did it, this is just kind of up and close how it's gonna look. But again, this is my budget one. And this is usually how I like to keep track of stuff. And on top of it, I like to keep track of it eh, like this. So it just gives you all the stuff here and your ba your bill pays. So this is just kind of just what it looks like. Expense tracker and then your bill pay checklist. So it goes all right here. Put your rent, your mortgage, lights, gas, so on. And then you're gonna put when the bill is due and the amount and when you paid it off. And then expense tracker, which I haven't been using it a lot lately. But again, it's I love this. I had used it before and I really did love it. I just haven't really used it a lot. And it's date, amount, what category it is. And then I would use like, I think I have some here. I would use like highlighted areas. Oh, and I love that the packs come with this. It's a month at a glance. Just kind of show you guys how that one looks. Do you guys use this part? Like I said, I haven't really used them. But I do plan on redoing or reusing them again. I don't think I did it this much this year. I just haven't really used them this year. I 
I may actually use them again. As things pick up more and places start to open a little bit more, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use those expense trackers as well just to kind of track the spending, especially because like if you saw this down payment on a home and then emergency fund, I'm gonna try to do more of the see where my money goes and do it like that. So again, definitely highly recommend this and I'll leave the link for the website down below. I like it, I have that one. And then I also use, she has like really cute ones. I think this was one of the free ones. That's cool. Like I said, I'm just going to reuse my old planner, this one. I'm gonna reuse it and I took out the thing, the one, the months that were in the beginning that I didn't use. Like, there's not much writing on them so I could go ahead and use them and reuse repurpose my planners <laughs> the, with the months that I haven't used. And I do love the budget one here as well. I love how it is. I wish the stickers were a little smaller though. I think that's the reason why I used different stickers. But yeah, I love this. So car payment kind of just breaks it down. She has like really cute ones. We just got a Jeep, so, and then our home. And they're really cute. They come in different, so, different sizes and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys. I know a lot were asking for more planner videos, and I'm just repurposing my old planner to make something for my budget planner. And this is just kind of just what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, it's this. And then... close on this. The rent and the mortgage have the same kind of like house. And again, just says rent or mortgage. And then the water, gas, and light. The 
in the cell phone, internet, and subscription. Car payment and car insurance. And then the cute little piggy one. So the piggy ones have just the regular piggy or it has the bill due one. See? And then, like I said, those are cute. And after I'm done doing these, I'm gonna go ahead and do these for anything extra. This is what this one comes in. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I like visualizing when bills are due, what days, and I think I have a Netflix sticker from, I'm trying to remember the company, or the shop, I can't remember, but I probably will add a Netflix sticker to it. <coughs> but yeah, this is what my budget planner looks like. And just again, using the cute little stickers makes it a whole lot more fun, um, having it laid out as a whole month and know which days that I um, get paid and what bills need to be due on that day. So the days that I usually get paid are Fridays and I would always put a line each week for those. And um, I will put the amount that I had gotten that week and then know kind of just what needs to be paid, how much it is, and then uh, yeah, I like to visually see what it is and check them off when I eat it. And for another question I had gotten was what kind of pens do I like to use? And I love these um, Papermate ones, the Ink Joy gel kind of pens. I love these. I love the different colors. I just like how they are. I like how they fill and I like how they write and I like... I love my happy planner stickers. I love my happy planner. I love my stickers to go inside my happy planner. And I just like how this is all set up. And yeah, hope you guys like it. And I'll see you guys next video.